ball from the Mac. Ball State in Western Michigan. Bill Cubitt in Western Michigan ready to go. Broncos trailing 16-10. Tim Hiller to Jordan White. Hiller went over 3,000 yards for the season. Short list of guys who've done that. Roethlisberger, Pennington, and Leftwich in the Mac. This is Charlie Todd. 87 yards for the touchdown. He even impressed Kobe Bryant with his speed. And Ball State takes a 22-17 lead. Under a minute left to go in the game. Fourth and 10 for the Broncos. Oh, they're pulling a the Belichick. And he's picked off by Sean Baker. Hill's fourth interception of the night. Show the real old fight. That's Colt McCoy, starter for Texas, 43 and 7 under center. Uh, Gerard Johnson, 9 and 12 as a starter, but this kid has much game. Let's get the duel underway. Third play of the contest. Johnson on third and nine. Let's go for 70. Up top to Jeff Fuller. Look at him haul in the magic bean and go. Aggies led 7-0. And Johnson up one zip in our touchdown quarter uh, counter comparing the quarterbacks. Longhorns would respond. McCoy to his roommate, Jordan Shipley, and it's 7-7 and 1-1. Early second quarter, still tied up, third and two. McCoy, zone read. He reads, nobody's in the middle. Off he goes. 65 yards for McCoy. Career-long touchdown run, career-long run, 14-7 in favor of the Horns. Back come the Aggies. Gig them up. Johnson finds his buddy Fuller. Eight, got it. Give him six. We're tied at 14. Touchdown counter, dose, dose. Back comes McCoy. His eight. Look at this. The eights were crazy in this game. 21-14. McCoy three TDs. Johnson two. And they were just getting warmed up. It got good after that. Shipley muffed a punt. Johnson to Howard Morrow. That's a great catch with two Longhorns draped on him. We're tied at 21. Late first half. First half winding down. McCoy, James Kirkendall. Four seconds left in the half, and it's 28-21. Mac Brown, thoughts going into the locker room. We get the ball to start the second half. It's key to get some points there. And we've got to slow their guy down and keep our guy hot. All right, we go to the third quarter. Texas leads 35-21, trying to com complete a 12-0 perfect season. Johnson scrambling on third and nine. He'll pick up 43 yards. Aggies in striking distance of the goal line later in the drive. Johnson's pass is about his only mistake. Earl Thompson's got it. He's a Longhorn turnover, but Texas couldn't capitalize. Fourth quarter, Aggies trailing 35-24. Kristen Michael just running over people, spinning off him. He's in the house, 35-30. What a show at Kyle Field for all the co-eds. Kiss the girls. They go for two. Ryan Tannehill's going to haul it in. He gets two feet, and he gets all his feet in bounds. Just stop for Mike Sherman's club. 35-32, field goal game. McCoy, James Kirkendall, he breaks a tackle. Got to wrap him up. 47 yards. He's gone. It's 42-32. Bevo's back up 10. McCoy on the touchdown counter up 5-3. Come on, Johnson. Get your team in this thing. Here we go. Again. He and Fuller gig him. Aggies cut the lead back to 3-5-4. And now we've got 80 points in this game. Ensuing kickoff, and this will deflate you, right? Marquise Goodwin takes it, cuts through traffic, and now he's rolling. Somebody in two-hand touch, he still scores here. Burt, Texas leading it now 49-39. I was dreaming of a 100-point game. Three minutes to go, Randy Bullock on to kick 23-yarder, make it a one-possession game. Never mind the Bullock, he missed it from close. Can't believe it. And Mac Brown's crew, oh, so happy, so fortunate. He's 0-4, Jordan Hare, first quarter. Terrell Zachary, end around. 67 yards, he's going to go. This is this is the longest play Alabama's given up all season by 15 yards. Tigers on the board, 7-0 on the board after losing this game 36-0 last year in suing kickoff. Coach Chiswick, he's always got one up his sleeve right here. See, Wes Byron, he's onside. Oh, Auburn going to recover the onside kick. We need to take another look at this. What's Alabama thinking? Tigers look, okay, we're going to kick it. Oh, no, we're going to kick it short. Got Alabama off guard. So Auburn's got the football, and they're going to do something with a second and 15 on the 50. Cody Burns to Chris Todd. We're not done throwing it. Darvin Adams. That's a 22-yard game. Same drive. Third and goal. It's Todd to Eric Smith. He's got reservations for six. Auburn up 14-0. Alabama hadn't allowed a touchdown in its last two games. Give up two in the first 9-18 and 14-0. Largest deficit the Tides face this season. We go second quarter. Alabama second and goal from the two. Trent Richardson. 
We're cutting that deficit in half, 14-7. Still in the second, third and nine. Greg McElroy. Looking for Colin Peak. 33-yard touchdown game tied at 14 at the half. We go third quarter. Auburn's first drive. Todd. Pump fake and hello. 72. Somebody bit. 72-yard touchdown. Auburn 21-14. Alabama two field goals. Down 21-20 going into the fourth quarter. McElroy maligned, but he was magnificent in the fourth quarter. Here to Julio Jones on a third and three, nine yards, first down. Then third and five, McElroy, Jones, six yards, first down. Then second and eight, midfield, McElroy to Jones, 11 yards, first down, McElroy, 21 to 31, 218 yards. Second and six, McElroy to Jones, seven yards, first down. Next play, Mark Ingram, Heisman hopeful. 16 carries, 30 yards, one here. Kurt on the play, does not return to this football game. Same drive, second and nine. McElroy, screen pass, Trent Richardson. 16 yards, another first down. You see the clock ticking, we're at about two minutes. Ingram, cut away. Same drive, third and three, McElroy. Is that a TV term? Play action. Roy Upchurch, touchdown. 79 yards, 15 plays, seven minutes, three seconds, the two-pointer failed. Crimson Tide's up five. Auburn's gonna have one last chance. One second left. Hail Mary, but you know Stan Mary works Sundays. This game was played on Friday. Crimson Tide, they win it. They're undefeated, 26-21. Recognize the WAC, Boise State, Nevada, winner in the WAC, is the WAC champion. Broncos have won 24 straight on the blue turf. Kid in the middle, Richie Brockle. He's out with a season-ending injury. He's the fullback. Dan Paul's his backup. He's a linebacker. You're going to put him at fullback now. Now, you know, uh, Boise State's got the number one scoring offense in the country, and they don't waste any time. It's Titus Young and Paul, who we just showed you, Dan Paul, making a big block right there. And Titus Young, 95 yards. I stepped away from the TV, came back. Uh, Stu says Boise State's up 7-0. All right, here's Paul again. Now he's playing fullback. And Kellen Moore, the kid out of Prosser, Washington. Nobody in the Pac-10 wanted him. To Paul in the flat. First career touchdown for Paul, who had one career catch coming into this game. Later in the first, it's Moore to Paul. Same play. Nevada didn't realize fullback is eligible. Ten minutes to go in the half. 20 to three. One shot ain't enough, Jack. You better make it three. It's more to Paul again. Three catches, three touchdowns in the first half. Now, give Chris Holt's club some credit. They came back, made a game of it, but then Kellen Moore, he was just too big. To Kirby Moore right there, his fifth touchdown of the night. And Boise State's going to hold on. They're going to win it. What a game this was on ESPN2. 44 to 33, Boise State undefeated. BCS, hear me now. You know, for momentum, and because, well, you never really want to lose. Late first quarter, no score, Niles Paul. That's a shake and break right there. As in, he shook the tackle and then broke out for the end zone. Nebraska up 7 up. First play of the second quarter. Zach Lee got banged up in this game a little bit. He should be okay for the Big 12 title game. He was certainly okay in this one. Hits Ben Cotton. Play was reviewed. They said the same thing the guy on the field said. Touchdown. Huskers up 14 nothing. Later in the second, Nebraska up 14-7. Colorado with the ball on third down. Uh-oh. Matt O'Hanlon picks off Tyler Hansen. Nebraska wins it 28-20. Huskers. Yes, Berth on the line next week when Pittsburgh hosts Cincinnati with the Panthers come in with momentum on their side after winning the backyard brawl at West Virginia. See, it's backyard brawl, so we're going to play off that brawl. We're going to start with big hits, Stan. First quarter, Jarrett Brown sacked by Greg Romeus and Jabal Sheard. Oh. And then look at uh, Gus Mustake as he got in on it as well. Now Pitt driving, JT Thomas stuffs Deion Lewis. That's a big hit for a loss. Okay, then you also had a fight, Sam, because you go to Vegas and watch the big fights. You got some swings and misses, too, even, even from the Manny Pacquiao's of the world, just not many of them. Dan Hutchins misses the 46-yard field goal wide right. And then uh, West Virginia on the 10, Noel Devine up the middle, but, oh, just short of the goal line. Next play, Josh Jenkins. This would be a miss. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, full start. They'd have to settle for a field goal. Game tied at three. And then also inside the ring stand, as you know, big, uh, big shots, trading shots. 
And third quarter, the here's Devine. He was fine. Oh. This, this guy is fun to watch, isn't he? 88-yard touchdown run right there when he found a seam. And West Virginia up 13 to six. Fourth quarter, it's now 16 to nine. Bill Stoll. Deep down to Jonathan Baldwin. Gets a step and he scores. And so we're tied after the extra point at 16. Final round of the fight, Stan, right here. <laughs> West Virginia, under two minutes to go. They got a third and 10. Jarrett Brown scrambles. He says, I, I got to get past the yellow line. Even though he can't see the yellow line. Next play, Ryan Clark. He can't see the, oh, did, he was stopped short. They measure it. It's a first down by that much. Tyler Bittencourt. 43 yards. It's good. They carry him off the hero, uh, off the field. He's a hero. West Virginia out brawls Pitt, 19.